Hello out there in the digital world. This is Hollywood, host of the Spoilers Podcast on the Rat Pack Podcast Network. Today we're going to be discussing a trailer for the new comedy, The Night Before. What do you guys think? Uh, comedies are tough. Mm -hmm. they're, they're really tough to do trailers for because... You got to sell some of the jokes, but then a lot of trailers give away a lot of the jokes. Right. So then you watch the movies like, oh, that was from the trailer. Uh, that was from the trailer. Okay. That's not funny. That's why it was in the trailer. Well, I like the parts that they did. Like, for instance, that part where they did the bit from Big with Tom Hanks. Oh, and they're doing I'm, the Kanye song? Yeah. I'm curious about that. I want to see how that plays down because, I mean, that, it, that's, that's difficult, I would, yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. You to, first, you have to know how to play piano. Yes. <laughs> and then you have to be coordinated enough to and jump then, all then, the way across. And then you have to have the auto-tune thing. Right. Yeah. Because that's... It's, uh, <laughs> it, it's, it looks like that probably could be a funny scene, but I feel mm -hmm. like it's going to be too much. Like, all right, you, you've overdone it. Mm -hmm. Some old lady's going to be breakdancing in the background. and like, ah, OK, I get okay. it. You're trying to be funny, but. It, well, it, it's not like a scary movie, you know. It's not going to be that over the top. It's I don't actually, know. These, these these guys. I mean, what was it uh, Pineapple Express? Was mm -hmm. these guys also interview? Uh, well, the it, interview. Yeah, they said almost interview, yeah, it, which was interesting. It, well, that was a funny joke because yeah, it never was, came to theaters. Right. But yeah, it's the guys who did Neighbors, almost the interview, right. and uh, another Seth Rogen film. I forgot what it said. Green Hornet? Okay. No. No. Ooh. I don't, I don't think they'd advertise that as like a selling point. I like the Green Hornet. Uh, so for the most part, fantastic. their movies are funny. <laughs> they're they're funny-ish. I mean, they're, they're very they're dangerously close uh -huh. in my book to getting into Sander territory <laughs> with their comedy, which is like that's too ridiculous and it's too dumb and knock it off. You have more respect for us. I watching. Don't so know. so so comedies have to take place in your world. They they just you can do a comedy without being ridiculous about it. Okay. Like my favorite comedy of all time is as good as it gets. Always within your world. Check. I didn't Every say it this time. time. That's funny. That's not really a comedy. That's more. Oh, a drama. it's hilarious. I think it's yeah, hilarious. It's, there's funny parts. Yeah. I, but, but that's more of a drama. <laughs> What's your favorite straight comedy? Straight comedy. What's a straight comedy? Like a well-known. Like that's a that that has funny parts, but it's a dramatic film. What's oh. your favorite comedic film? Jeez. I didn't mean to put you on the spot. Yeah, no, I'm going to have to think about that. Okay. Avengers. No. <laughs> Again. <laughs> what? Hudson Hawk. Okay. <laughs> is that the first one that comes to mind? Okay. Bruce Willis. Oh, okay. that, that, that much comedic? I mean, like, I know they had like a bunch of comedic but that, joints. But you, even that's the kind of comedy I don't like, but because it's Bruce Willis, it gets kind of a pass, where it's just kind of like ridiculous, like, wah, wah. Clue. Clue's good. Is that funny? Yeah. Dude, yeah. Yeah, it's, that's a comedy. It's, uh, it's, is it some suspense? It's a comedy no, suspense. It's murder suspense mystery. mystery. Oh, trust me. <laughs> Clue, Clue is the furthest from the suspense. It There's is three endings. endings. Yeah. yeah. You can choose one if you want. <laughs> yeah. That was good. That, I, I did a drag play quite a bit. Uh, so, oh, hold my yards. Hold one of those. Another Bruce Willis. Okay. See, when I think comedy, I think I have to go to the, the, the Bruce Willis because the other comedy that's out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, I would have said back in the day, like uh, The Wedding Singer. Okay. But that's Sandler. Uh, yeah, but because it's Sandler and he's so tainted for me now, I, I can't. Okay. I can't. What happened to you that you hated Sandler so much? He just kept doing the same stupid things all the time. Star, star. Okay. That's how it sounds like to me all the time. Come to the back of the boat? Yeah, come to the back of the boat. So in this movie, the, the, pretty much the plot is these three friends, it looks like they're going to be together for the last time. Right. They're going to go on, I think, Christmas Eve. Right, because young Bruce Willis' parents died. Uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Uh, his parents died, and since their parents died, how many, many years ago, yeah. they've been become the family on Christmas mm -hmm. to get together. Yeah. But now the, uh, the, the Falcon dude, he's, uh, <laughs> he's, he's too famous. Uh-huh. Don't know why. Maybe he's from the Avengers movie. Maybe he's maybe he's somebody in music. That's why he okay. can do the auto-tuned. Uh, Ooh, mic. good point. Oh, okay, that that would make sense. I, li I like his. He's an Avenger now. That's oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's better too. <laughs> and then the, and then Seth Rogen is about to have a kid. Right. I don't think he's ready to have the kid. No. He's and his wife the is. Uh, I forgot her name on Workaholics, but she's on Workaholics. Oh, okay. She was the she was you, she was the spoiler alert. Oh. She was the bad guy in Twenty Two Jump Street. Really? Yeah. Really. Oh, I like her. She's good on. Oh yeah, okay. she's good on workaholics. I, I like Twenty One Jump Street. I, uh -huh. I didn't want to watch the second one because I saw the scene where uh, Jonah Hill had to be all choloed out and like that. Yeah. Okay, that that's is, in the very beginning. Of the yeah, but that's that's too far for me as far as like. No, it's good though. The, the whole movie's good. I'm, I'm sure it's good, but that scene's like okay. You're pushing. You're, you're doing that silly comedy stuff. Nobody's gonna believe he's an actual cholo. Knock it off. Well, if you ever watch the movie, they don't, oh. which is why they blow their cover. Mm. Okay, I just it feels it feels. Pushed? Eh. Just lazy. All right. Anyways, um, back to the movie that we're actually supposed to be talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you, so, do you, so do you like their movies from this group of, of comedians? They're not the worst. 
Okay. Uh, I, I did. I did enjoy the interview quite a bit. Uh, th Me too. Th th that that one was. This is the end. That's the other movie. That, that was a good one too. Yeah. I, and it's well, all and it's all their crew. That one again. As soon as Jonah Hill. There's a scene with Jonah Hill. Yeah, and yeah. The, that's Turns into the demon. Yeah, uh, that, yeah, that was the end for me. But that movie's not supposed to take place in your world. No, no, no. But that was just too, that was just stupid. <laughs> okay, it's, it's not that it doesn't belong in my world. This obviously does not happen in the world. But uh -huh. that was just that was a bridge too far. Like you're pushing, you, you push too far okay. past my tolerance level for your stupidity. Okay, and then I was just pulled out of it. Way to so, go, princess. It, <laughs> <laughs> so in this movie, there's a couple good funny parts. Yeah, it, it seems funny. I mean, there's a lot of funny parts, especially with the Seth Rogen bits. Yeah. I mean, I think Jor J Jordan, Joseph Gordon, -Levitt. Joseph Gordon Levitt. Uh -huh. I mean, he was like, he's probably the one person in the entire movie that doesn't look like he's gonna be uh, um, some sort of like off the wall crazy person. Cartoon. Yeah, cartoon. Yeah. And then, well, maybe. But he maybe comes from talking. comedy. He was on Third Rock from the Sun. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. So I mean, he has a comedic background. Yeah. yeah. I just from the preview, I don't, I don't see that happening. Mm -hmm. I see most of the craziness happen with Seth Rogen. Yeah, yeah. First with all the types of drugs, then with the weird yeah. thing. Yeah, the, the drug, that was a little weird too. I mean, the, the, the oh, it's golden, oh, there's mushrooms and cocaine and all this, like, that's, that's, that's a bad thing to combine. Just like, well, just like, you don't combine them, yeah, I know. Yeah, but, that's, but then why give them all to them? Just take one well, for Well, in the trailer, he does. Yeah. They're like, is the, uh, is, how you feeling? The cocaine and mushroom doesn't mix, man. Yeah. They go, Wait, your eye doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> is this <laughs> weird? Yeah. Is this, is this weird? That's uh -huh. still, <laughs> it's worse. Am I, am I weird now? <laughs> Yeah, well, that, that, was, that was a funny little gag thing that he did, but... And Mind, Mindy Kaling's in this, right? and so is Lizzie Kaplan, who right. I love. Lizzie Kaplan is awesome on Masters of Sex, okay. the show on Showtime. Oh, she was, like she Masters was, of she, Sex. Yeah, it's a, it's a she show. was good on Party oh. Down, a yeah. show that was fantastic, that shouldn't have been canceled. She was good at Mean Girls. I like Lizzie Kaplan. Okay, I, 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 this, this is, is this a romantic comedy? Is that what they're trying to go for here? I don't There's going to so. be a romantic angle. Yeah, Joseph gordon is going to end up with the but chick that was singing Wrecking Ball because they're on stage singing. Miley Cyrus. That was Miley Cyrus, dude. Because <laughs> there was a scene where they're actually on stage with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But it was, it was, that's one of those like, oh, we screwed up and this is good. Yeah. Hey, hey I'm still cool. Mm -hmm. I remember I talked to you about your song? I'll sing it for you. Mm -hmm. It's like watching <laughs> The Hangover before they actually pass out. Exactly. That's pretty much what the movie. This about. The, I had the exact same thought. This, this is the hangover, hangover on Christmas Eve. Right. Before they actually pass out. Yeah. yeah. yeah you got Zach, Zach, Zach Galifianakis. Oh, you got Beard Guy in this movie doing drugs. Like, Seth Rogen. So, like Galifianakis did mm -hmm. in, in The Hangover. Well, he's, he wants to like, you Bradley know. Cooper's, Bradley Cooper's. The Joseph Gordon-Levitt character. Right. Yeah. yeah. He's the, 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 the good-looking dude. And uh, Andy Bernard is the Falcon. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, singing. By default, I, I mean, guess. Cause it, probably because of the singing aspect to it. Yeah. We just don't know enough about it. That's yeah. why. It looks interesting. I mean, this I, I not in the theaters for sure, but maybe at one point I'll check it out. Yeah, I'd, wa I'd watch it. For, <laughs> I would watch it for Christmas. Yeah, okay. I would watch this yeah. for Christmas. Yeah, it would be fun. Well, I mean, but to go to the theaters to watch it? I didn't say anything about that. Oh, all right. Okay, Christmas, it's going to be full of the Star Wars nerds. Yes. Yeah. So you're probably, it's probably going to be sold out. Let's see what is else on. Hateful Eight, this movie, yep. something else. Yeah. The Snoopy's Christmas. Oh, the Peanuts movie. Peanuts movie, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, it came out already. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, ah. I think it was this past weekend on the 6th. Yeah. yeah. How did you know about this before me? Because I, I did research. <laughs> on, <laughs> on the Peanuts? No, on movies that are being released. Oh. So in this trailer, what's your, <laughs> in this trailer, what's your favorite joke? Uh, For me, it's the, the scene in church with okay. Jesus. All right. And he goes, do, do they think I'm, I'm Jewish? Yes, because of your fucking sweater. Right. <laughs> and, well, it's see, the, and it's the star David. Yeah, it's the giant star David. And he throws up because of the mushrooms yeah. and Coke mix. And yeah. he goes, we didn't do that to Jesus. Well, historically, yes, you did. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a, it was like a soul church type of thing? Yeah. 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 Oh, but I, that, I, I was bugged by that a little bit. He's like, hey, who's that guy? This is Jesus Christ on the cross. Yeah. What do you mean, what do you mean yeah. who's that guy? Yeah. Well, he was taking psychedelics. Maybe there's a possibility that he doesn't recognize it because he doesn't look anything like him. And his reaction to saying it's Jesus is, oh, Jesus. So, okay, so he already his concept. But then the trailer <laughs> ends with him high talking to like, man, I'm having the weirdest night. And it's the G oh, another it's, Jesus statue. Oh, you're, right. So maybe he's, well, he's well, so well, high he doesn't know actually, who he is. Actually, that's the nativity scene. He's talking yeah. to the shepherds. Oh, yeah, sorry. My, my yeah. bad. I was he's talking to the baby. You were in the Christian talking bubble. To, talking to the baby. This guy. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. That was from your Christian bubble days? Absolutely. We used to have a, a, a not a life size, but they were like probably about my stomach high, mm -hmm. light up nativity scene that we put out in the front yard. Mm -hmm. And every day we put a new one out there or something. No, what? we didn't do that. How many did you have? Well, there's three shepherds, or three wise men. You got you got the you got the animals, then you got the baby Mary Jesus Joseph. that shows up, and they're all the same size of your stomach. 
That's how tall they are. Oh, tall. The, your favorite joke in the trailer, Adam? Uh, it's, it's probably the, in the back of the limo where it's like, you're being weird. Oh, the different yeah. poses. Oh, is this weird? Am I weird now? Okay. Yeah. Maestro? Huh? Ah, he took my... Uh, <laughs> it, it's really funny. I mean, just, he was just staring at you with such great, like, I don't even know. It's like, he's like, he's like got such a fierce like, gaze that he's looking at the Falcon. And then you look at him and he's got nothing behind it, everything he's saying. So you're like... I, I, I bet that, was, that scene was all improv. Uh, most of this film is probably improv. Yeah. Seth Rogen's good at improv. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that gets the best results out of stuff. If you follow the script, then... It only goes somewhere, so far. Right. Yeah. Start getting all crazy with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, they got a limo. I mean, it's, yeah. This is uh, a lot of stuff happening in this movie. Mm-hmm. They, they must be doing well. Yeah. Or maybe the black, the black dude's paying for everything. The Falcon? Falcon? Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> On his Avengers salary? Yeah, that's right. I just want to see what happens. His S.H.I.E.L.D. salary. Yeah. Because in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they all work for S.H.I.E.L.D. Right. You know, honestly, what Which I'm really bullshit. interested in the whole movie is how he gets from talking about the movie with the Miley Cyrus, saying, ah, it's a whatever movie or song or whatever, right? And then he gets them to him and her singing on stage. I want to see how that happens. That's... Okay. I already know. Don't they're tell gonna be, me. They're going to be out. Yeah. And they're going to be like, hey, Miley Cyrus, the girl they talked about earlier in the movie, she happens to be playing here on Christmas Eve. What are the odds? Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that, I already know that, where that's That part also kind of bothered me. I feel like they fixated too long on the Wrecking Ball song. Uh-huh. Like that, that wasn't a trailer-worthy joke thing. Mm-hmm. Like, you can cry to it. You can, you can work out to but it. But it's true, though. <laughs> but, but still. Do you really want to cry to it? Yeah. It's, 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 I you can, can work I can, out to it. I can get the emotional aspect to it. I can yeah. understand why that might... <laughs> well, because my introduction to the song was basically Deadpool uh, doing a mock version of it where he's swinging actually in from a wrecking ball. That's right. Yeah. Well, she does that in the video, too. Really? Yeah. Oh, Except she's, she's like naked. Mm-hmm. Deadpool wasn't naked. No. Well, it, then it'd just be Ryan Reynolds. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> naked. So, in conclusion, yeah. <laughs> is this a yay or a nay for you, Mason? I would like to, yeah. Just Adam, to see what it's I'm about. assuming no. Uh, if somebody else has it on, I'll, I'll pay attention to it, but I'm not going to do it. No, would you go to the theaters? Oh, no, absolutely no? not. Okay. Absolutely not. I would, just because I like Seth Rogen. I've always liked Seth Rogen. I like Seth Rogen from his Freaks and Geeks days, okay. when nobody knew who he was. All right. Undeclared, when nobody knew who he was. Okay. So I followed him most of his career. I think he's around our age, maybe a year or two older than yeah, us. Yeah, he's very close. So I've been following him since he was like 18, 17 oh, years wow. old. Okay. Back in his TV days. I've always huh. liked him, so. Oh, cool. Yeah. He, he seems, he seems like a good guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he, he acts fine. Okay. I just, uh, Are you telling me that we're the same age as Seth Rogen? About. I think he's a year older than we're, us. We're Maybe in the, we're in the ballpark. Yeah. We're in the same ballpark. I'm just staring. I'm like, <laughs> really? Yeah, well, if I could grow that kind of beard, that'd be amazing. Why yeah. not try? See what happens. No, I, I had it all too long before. It was too irritating. It was dumb, and it looked like pubes. Yeah. Because you have to maintain. <laughs> There's no maintain. Right. I got the wavy Hispanic thing. Yeah. All right, guys, so check out uh, The Night Before in theaters in November. Uh, thanks for watching us talk about these trailers. Follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash spoilers show. Instagram, Twitter, same thing, at spoilers show. Send us an email for the podcast to so get a hold of us at ratpackpodcast.com. Yeah, spoilers at ratpackpodcast.com. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, and just check us out. We got a lot of interesting things coming up on the YouTube channel. That's Rat Pack Productions. And uh, this is Hollywood signing off. Bye. Bye. Nah. Okay. <laughs>